I'm still so excited about Ahmed Best's return to Star Wars as Kelleran Beck in The Mandalorian. His latest appearance has cleared up some lore surrounding that character, but also raised some questions about another, Ahmed Beck, also played by Ahmed Best in Attack of the Clones. He was briefly seen in the Outlander Club near the start of the film, where Obi-Wan and Anakin's pursuit of Zam Wessel ends. He doesn't have much canon backstory, but in Legends, he was a con man and partner to Daniel Faitoni, who was also a cameo appearance for Anthony Daniels, the actor who played C-3PO. Prior to that scene, they escaped from a prison on Coruscant in a laundry speeder. They fled to the Outlander Club disguised as Republic officers and attempted to con the bar patrons out of their credits. But remember, that's all legends for now. It might still be true, it might not. Before Chapter 20 of The Mandalorian, we assumed that Kelleran Beck was related to Ahmed Beck. They shared the same last name and were played by the same actor, after all. I figured the events of the game show that introduced Kelleran, Jedi Temple Challenge, took place earlier in the timeline, maybe in between the High Republic era and the prequels, but now we know that both members of the Beck family lived around the same point in time. So that has led fans to wonder what their relationship could be, or if they could be the exact same person. Maybe Ahmed Beck is simply simply Kelleran Beck in disguise, like Quinlan Voss's appearance in The Phantom Menace. I think that's unlikely. Ahmed Best described Kelleran Beck as a Jedi Master who had dedicated himself entirely to teaching younglings and Padawans, which is part of the reason the choice to have him save Grogu was so perfect. So I don't really see him being the type of Jedi to go undercover. Even though he totally could, he can certainly handle himself. And there could be a situation where one of his students got lost or were kidnapped and brought into the Coruscant underworld and he went off to save them. It is possible. But I think I prefer the idea that Ahmed Beck is Kelleran's identical twin brother. One of them wound up being Force-sensitive and was taken to the Jedi Temple, and the other, maybe full of resentment at being left behind, turned to a life of crime. Or maybe he was Force-sensitive and simply chose to use his talents for nefarious purposes. Maybe they were both trained at the Temple and then Ahmed decided to leave. I just like the idea of two twin brothers with divergent destinies. This is probably something we will never learn learn more about, but I have a deep appreciation for the background characters of Star Wars, and Ahmed Beck is no different. I'm still celebrating the triumphant return of Kelleran Beck, but I think it's fun to connect these new dots back to Ahmed Best's other live-action character and do some nerdy speculation. So what do you think? Are the two Becks related? Do you have some headcanon for how their relationship may have gone, if they ever even knew each other? Leave your ideas in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our Mandalorian Season 3 coverage, and consider checking out our Patreon page where we're releasing video reactions and audio commentaries for every new episode. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.